hi there you welcome back to the channel and today we are learning about how to register the sim cards that are in our table net our routers our security cameras our trackers our my files our laptops in fact um data sims in general and sim cards that are in devices that we do not remove how do we get those sim cards registered and that is exactly what we are going to learn about today and um, before then uh, i'm sure we are all aware that the sim card registration exercise in ghana started back in october 2021 uh, which is over a year now and um, most of us have also registered the same cards that are in our phones others too have not registered at all but then uh, for most of us we've even forgotten that the same cards which are in our tableness and our routers and our trackers and all that have to be registered and so today that's exactly what we are going to learn about because um, there's a deadline for the registration and I'm sure that if we do not get it registered, we can lose them and we won't be able to use them to, to enjoy the services that we enjoy on those numbers. Also to say that if you've registered your SIM card earlier, then there is a need to also verify whether your registration has been done successfully. But how do you go about it? You check your registration status by dialing star 400 zero zero hash or star 400 hash now when you dial it and you send it and then your number is registered successfully you'll see your name you'll see your unique code and you see b cup yes once you see b cup yes it means that your number has been registered successfully but if you don't see the b cup yes then please you will need to um, get to a registration center and complete the registration status or you can also use the self-service app to complete the registration all right, so let's get to how to register the SIM cards in our table net, our routers, our security cameras, our MiFi, and then our laptops or any SIM card that is in a device that you don't remove. Now, we are aware that the first thing you have to do to be able to register a SIM card is to first link that SIM card to the Ghana card. And normally on our phones, we'll have to dial star 404 hash and use the Ghana card details to link the number. But because these SIM cards we are talking about are in devices that we do not remove the same cars. MTN, for instance, has provided a particular portal where you can conveniently link the SIM card in that particular device without having to remove the SIM card. And the portal is called simregistrationportal.mtn.com.gh. Simregistrationportal.mtn.com.gh. But before you are able to do that, you first have to know the particular number you want to link. So if it is a table net, for instance, you need to have the number with you first and then your Ghana card. So two things which are important, the number you are going to register or link and then the Ghana card. So once you have these, then you go onto the platform. But a key thing here to note is that because you are not going to remove the SIM card or from the device, you have to also get an alternative number, which is also a number in your own name so that when you are linking the number, the unique code that will be received for that particular number will not go onto um, that particular SIM card which is in a table net or a router or whichever device is in but it will come to your other number so that you can easily have access to the unique code and then go ahead and do um, the biometric registration after you are done linking the number once you are set with these things let's go straight to the portal mtn has same registration portal at mtn.com.gh okay once we go straight to the portal you are asked to accept the terms and conditions this one is a routine so just accept it and then from there you are asked to enter the number which you are going to link so the table net number in this case or maybe the router number the MiFi number whichever device the number you are going to link you have to put the number there then once you send it it will ask you whether you are going to use that number to receive the um, the OTP which is um, a one-time password to confirm that you are linking the number or you are going to provide an alternative number which could be your personal number which i mentioned earlier so you can put your other number there which you will now receive the otp on for you to be able to continue and then do the linking so i put my other number there and click on request otp so now the message will now be sent to my number and the once i receive i'll enter it there and then click on verify otp to take me to the next stage where i'm now going to enter my ghana card details so first we ask to enter a Ghana card number. Uh, when you are entering the Ghana card number, I start from GHA. This time you bring the dashes there. The dashes between the numbers, you bring them. Um, after that, you'll be asked to enter your surname and your first name. So you do that. It will also ask you of your date of birth. And then you'll be asked to also take pictures of your Ghana card, both the front and the back. 
my advice is that you take the picture crop it nicely and then you save it so that you can attach the cropped one other than taking uh, it directly normally if you are not careful when you are taking it directly it will not be properly taken and then um, you will have to redo it again but if you also have a good phone and can take the pictures nicely and upload directly that is also accepted and can also go through um, smoothly after that you'll be asked to confirm the details you've put on the platform and then you'll get a successful message confirming that you've successfully linked your sim card to your ghana card so once you have this it means that you now have your unique code which will be sent to the alternative number you provided and you can use the unique code to register that particular sim card in the device at any registration point or you can equally um, download the self-service registration app from play store and do it yourself please pass this information to your friends your family because a lot of people have forgotten that they need to even register the sim cards that are in their tablet their routers and other devices they have the card trackers so as you've heard this information pass it to your brother or a sister or any other person who needs it so that they can equally link their sim cards or their data sim cards and then go ahead and do the registration uh, to prevent disconnection thank you and let's share to our family and friends